Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait for the perfect time to attack. Discretion is advised. This show. Sorgatron on the Twitter. It is the Raw Wrap-Up, and now we have the audio on. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here. A Monday night. I'm not in a parking garage. Nope. We're not on uh, We're not on Google Google Live or Google what? Wh- Google Hangouts, is it? Is that what we use? Nope. Nope. But it is Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here. With me in the studio is Larry. Hello. Well, uh, welcome. Uh, Thank you. Hanging out with us. Yep. Uh, and, of course, you joined us last week for the... For the Raw in Cleveland as well. It's a lot of wrestling. A lot of wrestling. Yep. A lot of wrestling. And you might have been around the SmackDown in some capacity. I saw some SmackDown. You saw some SmackDown? I did. You saw some things. Yeah, some stuff I going did. on. That's saw good. some stuff. There was uh, smacking. But it is the the, smack, the downing of the smack. Downing smacks. Downing of smacks. <laughs> and if you're following us on the Instagram, Wrestling Mayhem Show, or at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, we're going to have fun here as we're watching the, uh, the Raw before Mania. And uh, and and what a raw it was. And now I don't think I think we we did, we had a pretty good raw last week. Yeah, I we think it was, it was a quality show. We didn't have, but you know, we, we didn't have a sit down conference uh, uh, meeting to start the show. No, which was good. Yeah, it was very good. It was, good. I, it was a little, it was it was a little awkward. I, I don't know. It just the setup a little bit was was a little funky to me. Um, but it, I don't know. I don't know what you think about that? Uh, the Ronda Rousey and Triple H and 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 Steph. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what to think about yeah, it. Yes, so we have such, yeah, such guess, clear I, opinions tonight. I, I guess I guess they're trying to make it look like more of a challenge for Ronda and show that she is vulnerable by putting her yeah. through a table. But at the same time, <sighs> the Stephanie McMahon's new move, the boob slam. Yeah, the boob slam. The boob slam. Yeah, she's been watching some Joey Ryan stuff, it, hasn't she? It, it was kind of like it was kind of like a mix between uh, like a rock bottom, only just yeah, not like I don't know. It was, I don't know. It was effective. It was effective. It was effective. <laughs> yes, that table broke. It got something in on it, you know, and, and yeah. that's fine. I mean that but. that you know what that I, that her doing that move was a lot better than Ronda selling that move. <laughs> yeah, that's true. we got, and this is the biggest thing. You got the towel over there that we we got last week. Uh, yeah. You got to never give up yep. towel. Also, I, I think there should be a new one uh, with and the Undertaker. We're, ch- we're changing it there to give up. To give up. <laughs> we will not be seeing Taker versus no, Cena at no, WrestleMania. No, apparently we won't be. So um, hashtag give up. Hashtag uh, give up. Yes, uh, but uh, we had John Cena, another great promo. Yeah, he's, he was. He's dragging us along. He's dragging us along to not see an Undertaker. To nothing. It's a, apparently just to make everybody hate Undertaker as a person. Four weeks of nothing. Four weeks of nothing. John Cena, although I can't, I hope John Cena has like a fan cam. Maybe he'll get slimed at ringside. I hope he gets food poisoning. Also, you know, you know, this late in, I heard, I, I've seen people tweeting tonight about how bad uh, uh, tickets are for WrestleMania as far as picking those up. I don't think he's getting good seats if he's getting any. Oh, you know what? If he gets good seats, people will riot. That's true. <laughs> if so, he's already if, not delivering on the Cena Taker match. And then if he gets somebody else's front row seat, and then they're, Cena, they're stuck behind the WrestleMania sign. New sign that says, oh, if, man. If, if Cena sits in front of us, we riot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we'll see. You know what? You know, Kid Rock. They were just brought up in the in the main thing that uh, that uh, you know both those guys are the guys that beat uh, Taker at WrestleMania. Yeah. I mean, Kid Rock's there. He could play him out to American Badass. I mean, I, anything can happen. There's a lot of things you can connect the dots on here. Vince played us like a fiddle. Vince played you like a fiddle. <laughs> the ladies. The ladies did a lot of stuff tonight. Uh, Bailey and Sasha still going at it, which I'm sad that that's just going to be in a battle royal, apparently. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of good there. That's a bunch of crap. Yes. That, that, sh- that should be a street fight. That should be a bourbon street fight. A bourbon street fight with Sasha and, with and Sasha Bailey. Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, I can see it. Well, hopefully, hopefully we'll have some good stuff in the pay-per-views following WrestleMania. Um, obviously, we got to keep it to the titles, apparently, um, or if Shane McMahon needs a match. Mo- Both... McMahon siblings have matches on WrestleMania. Yep. How about that? 
<laughs> they do. <laughs> There's a shocker, right? Most Everybody, McMahons uh, officially on the card since WrestleMania 2000. You got enough. You got enough superstars for two battle royals. We got, and yes. you're, you're throwing the the oh, boss's I'm kids sorry. in matches. I'm sorry. I, I I I'm sorry, Sasha Banks and Bailey. We don't have enough room on yeah. the card for you because all the kids need a spot. Yeah. Mm. It's bullshit. This is all the like part timers that piss you off WrestleMania, isn't it? You know. Daniel Bryan came out of nowhere. He has a match. Um, I was okay with that. Yeah, I was all right with that one because oh. I, I I'm I'm okay with that because I'm I'm being optimistic that he's gonna be there more mm-hmm. than you know Shane McMahon wrestling or you know what I mean like I I think he's gonna go the Chris Jericho route and commit to an actual schedule. Um. So. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, Macron is saying, Cena, chant for Taker. Oh, it didn't work, suckers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's like... You're breaking the kid's heart, Cena. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, All those <laughs> kids that dressed exactly like you. Um, but anyways, uh, what's up, Tina? What's up, Travis? What's up, Alex? Alex, I don't think our Taker's going to show up on SmackDown. No. I don't... Not, not unannounced. Well, no, we're, SmackDown's in Tennessee. Is so it? So... Okay. He might. I think he li- he lives there. That's not a long... He lives in Tennessee now? I th- yeah, he did. No, I think he lives, he the answer is he lives in Death Valley. No, that gimmick died. Ah, oh, damn it! That gimmick died with uh, Roman. <laughs> oh, okay. He's uh, he, he got the U-Haul. He's, he's on his wife's wife's Instagram account. Yeah, I think he lives in Tennessee now. <laughs> he's doing Zumba on his wife's. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jazzercise. I really need to look at. I need to look up her Instagram account so I can see what Taker's up to. Um, there's a rumor that Styles and Nakamura is the opener. No, I believe that. We'll, we'll get into Mania, like the full on Mania talk, probably a little bit more tomorrow. But tonight, um, I, the chat room just disappeared. That is strange. Uh, I don't know. I still have them. I think. I don't know. I think it's just my. Travis phone. said mid card would be okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. I yeah, don't no, think again. I I maybe we'll talk about this more tomorrow, but I, I don't think your position on a seven hours of wrestling matters as much anymore you know it would be smart to put nakamura and styles at the beginning though mm-hmm. because if you put that anywhere near the last hour no there one's was gonna rumor, care. there was actually a rumor going around that one of the women's matches was going to end it because you got oscar streak versus title i don't i don't think so you could do it maybe maybe that's i'd be excited for It'll it make up I for that vagina trophy i don't think they're going to do it but <laughs> we popped the only woman in the sh- in the show in the room for that one uh, no, it's not going to make nope. up for that. All right. All it's right. Not. All right. That, at least we got it from the source in there. If you have any opinions, let us know in the chat here. Uh, but anyways, what's up, Joseph, in the in there? Good seeing you again uh, in the chat room here on Facebook. Of course, we're here every Monday night after uh, uh, Raw on the Facebook Live uh, over at Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook. But anyways, so Austin, you – okay. Dana Brooke was wrestling tonight. We had to talk about this because you you had a lot of opinions about this. Why is she still employed? (laughs) She's they they let they let Emma go, yeah, and kept Dana Brooke. Yeah, maybe you see a little bit. Emma is represented behind. uh, No, I wasn't a fan of Emma's gimmick. Mm -hmm. I thought it was stupid, but she could wrestle. She was good, and she could kind of talk on the mic. Mm -hmm. Dana Brooke can't wrestle. And can't talk in the mic. But she can pose. Sure. <laughs> if that counts for anything, mm-hmm. I guess. I guess it does. She has a job. Yeah. Uh, and, and her job tonight was taking the pin. Oh, no, no. Mickey did. Never mind. That's Mickey, Mickey took the pin. Mickey's job and is then to get hit by every... Dana um, went, to t- went to save the day and got her ass kicked. Mickey, <laughs> Mickey James' job is getting hit by every every real and and and, and uh proverbial uh train in WWE. <laughs> yeah, hey, she's she's guess. makes it look yeah. good at least. Um I'm, well, okay, if there's another she's, she's good at pretending to be, be human. Pretending to be human. This is the thing that started. <laughs> Dutters <laughs> apparently has a problem with the way Mickey James stands and walks like she's not a real human being. Um, and, and now I can't watch a match. And Mickey James one of my favorites, and now I can't watch her walk. I'm okay with it because I think it's intentional just so that you hate her. Just it's to her, make like, me, presenting. Like, she's trying like, to make you he- hate her. Is, is that it? I think so. Is because, that's why it's more profound? Because she, I don't think Shoulders she, she back, wasn't doing of. that when she was a baby face during that small stint. No? No, it's no. just kind of like I, how I think she's, it's like, recent. puts herself out there a little bit. Um, anyways. Uh... <laughs> 
Oh, Matt boy. Carlin said Mickey James is a saint. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. She came out of that, that train Mickey. incident very, very well with it. What? She got thrown in front of a train at, uh, at, at TNA. Oh, okay. This is the thing that, that That's why we keep making train jokes around her. That never, I don't. Okay. No? <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> it was a dark time. Hardcore country, something like that. She has a song. You know, she has a song. Yeah, like she's she's she's, a a, she's won country music awards. That's right. I, yeah, I guess they I said guess. that on a raw. I'm, I'm amazed they admit that era of her life. But anyway, she walks like a marionette puppet. Says JT. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Uh, but anyways, uh, but now we are gonna. Uh, the cruiserweights didn't get a showcase, but we, they let people know that there's no. a match. Yeah, uh, that's that's good to know too. Um, what else from tonight? Um, Brain Strowman. Brain Strowman. Uh, thank you, thank you. I was just getting to that. Uh, that was great. Yeah, that that was the best possible scenario. Mm-hmm. Short of James Ellsworth coming out as his tag team partner, follow this which was could the, still happen. It this could still was happen the at best Mania. thing that could have happened. It still absolutely could happen at Mania, and 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 we saw a little bit beforehand on Twitter, um, but uh, but we we did get uh, we we Kurt Hawkins got got, got Kurt, a yeah got some TV time. Good for him. Mm-hmm. He got TV time. He wanted to be Braun's partner, right? Yep. So um, he, got, he got his big break. He got he right right he he got shock mastered through the wall basically, uh, right into that dude's creepy dark dressing room. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> when they when they put like listen, you, you got to throw it in this room, but we got to have a guy standing in this dark room to make it look like you know just tweeting in the yeah corner. just tweeting in the corner. It's like hello sir, what are you doing uh, alone in this room that has very thin walls? <laughs> uh, but you know. It, it's it, Travis said, who, "Who do who do you think his partner is going to be? The Big Show? I think it's going with James Ellsworth. No, I don't think it's going to be a big guy. I don't think it's going to be a Big Show. It's not going to be Kane. I I wish it was James Ellsworth, but I, I don't. I think it's going to be something ridiculous. I think like, I think it's going to be Kane. I think it's going to be it'll be Gilbert and James mm. Ellsworth because those two just want a tag belt together. I don't think so. Gonna be what? It's going to be, gonna be John G- Cena. It's not going to be John Cena. It's be he, just John said Cena. He, he just said it wasn't going to be him. No, it's not going to take that spot for somebody who That's deserves right. it, like James Ellsworth. Like James Ellsworth. Yeah, but you know what would be great? Missy's just got his heat on him because he stole your marker. Oh, yeah. James Ellsworth did steal Missy's marker a couple weeks that ago. Son of That's a, a leg- That's legit heat right there. Um, yeah, yeah. But, hey, joke's on him because he went to a wrestling show that got canceled. <laughs> yep. Got shut down by the commission. <laughs> That's why Honky Tonk Man hung out with us that night. Really? Yeah. So uh, that's the word I got. That's the, that's through the indie wrestling rumor mill. Uh, but anyways, that's a different show entirely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so no, no. I think it's that. Oh wait, did I, did I tell you what my my, my new, new guess is for that? No. Colin Delaney. Huh. The original James Ellsworth. <laughs> Well, lots of that. He's been getting around. He had a um, he had a uh, a jobber match on like two hundred five or something or the SmackDown, I think, too, um, uh, a couple months ago. Who did he face? I want to say Braun Strowman <laughs> on SmackDown. <laughs> but I don't think that's right. No, he had somebody else. I I can't even oh. recall who. Uh, but uh, no, the other rumor is, yeah, it makes sense that Rousey and Angle would be in the main event actually. Uh, with all the all the uh, uh. You know, going around that. It's not going to... Whoever is in the main event slot is going to be in trouble, I think. If they, if they don't do Braun and... Or uh, uh, Brock and Roman. Mm-hmm. I don't... Like, they're not going to do AJ and Shinsuke. They they just haven't been advertising Sadly, it as much. no. No, no, no. It, well, it just feels like it because I feel like we, we still s- it's see more of raw things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, but that'd be great if it was. But, I mean, it's it's... It's one of those that they they could they, they could throw down a match and and you can see the match that they had at Wrestle Kingdom that really is kind of uh, raising all this um, uh, raising all this 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 you know interest in it right yeah. uh, that's actually a free match over over on New Japan World. Sorry, Robert McNeely just said Lars Sullivan and Braun Strowman should team up. Oh jeez, yeah, <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't Lars in the U.S. title? That's the thing; it could he be is. anybody from NXT. He is, and I, I think Lars was his tag team partner in NXT. Was he? I think somebody no. said that. Yeah, I think no. somebody was saying that. Like maybe like before they were on TV and stuff. Well, before Braun was on TV, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you know what? There are like five main events on WrestleMania. Uh, Travis St. Kurt says that Rock and uh, Brock and Roman are the main event of the show. 
Uh, yeah, I no, they, uh, seriously, there's like five or six main events on the show these days. Yeah. Um, this is, you know... Well, I, there's I, enough I, wrestling for three shows. Yeah, that's true, too. Um, I, I, I make the argument, and much like a couple weeks ago, I said that you will not be, you, you will not be satisfied with WrestleMania no matter what happens. Um, and, and the other thing is, there is no main event. Who cares what the last match is? Yeah. It's not the one. It doesn't mean it's the one you're going to remember the show for. Right. Right. That's fair. And which also leads to my, you will not be satisfied with WrestleMania at the end of the night. I think it depends how they space it out, though. Of course. You know, I mean, if, so if, if they throw, if they throw like all the good stuff in the end or the beginning, mm-hmm. they got to, uh, f- they have to fill five and a half hours. Uh, uh, Shelby saying uh, it'd be cool if the triple threat match was the main event. Um, which one? Oh wait, no, the other one's a four way now, isn't it? Which one? The one with Rusev. Rusev's in the match. Uh, I think he is. What? That's a. Oh, you missed that. No, you I was. We're watching I, other. I was parts. taking a nap. He got the pin in a tag no match. No shit. And put himself in the four way for the U.S. title. Fuck yeah. So happy Rusev Mania. Happy Rusev. And Mania. And by the way, calendar's right over here. Ha- happy Happy Rusev Day as well. <laughs> wait, wait, right over there. I just wait. Let me check. Let me check. It's it, Rusev Day. It is Rusev Day. There you go. There you go. Um, I'm so glad I put that in camera shot. But. <laughs> Anyways, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Say two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Two hours? Maybe. Well, well I'll say two hours and 15 minutes. Okay. How about that? Okay. Um, I would say, you know, I'm about the same thing, give or take a uh, Kid Rock song or two. Yeah, a Kid Rock song or two, a few WrestleMania advertisements. Uh, the weirdest thing for me last week, uh, seeing two shows was when they're doing the match rundown, and the match rundown is so long, there's a point where the song just gets to this thing about where you just keep saying something about crayfish pie over and over again, <laughs> and it's maddening when you're there, and you're just like, what, what is happening right now? Subliminal messaging. Subliminal messaging? I remember crayfish from the stream out back. I'm not having a pie with crayfish in it. That's fucking gross, and I think my wife's going to be allergic to that. I don't think they're the same crayfish they're not the same crayfish i think the ones out, i think the crayfish. ones out back that you were grabbing were tiny little the little tiny little ones yeah i think but the how ones are you they making have. a pie out of seafood well i don't know i'm from michigan man you got crayfish in michigan Come yeah on. but you don't eat them thing. you just catch them and throw them in a well, bucket and that's then throw them back in the water that's apparently that's what they do in new orleans or from the guy who's also from michigan that sings that song fuck that guy <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, he's your future governor or something, isn't he? Uh, I think so. he's not mine. I vote in Pen- I vote in Pennsylvania. Oh uh, yeah, you've uh, you've not given that it I up. really should be bragging about that this year, but anyways, we were having fun. I was playing a lot of uh, Michigan music for for Aaron, uh, Larry. Uh, who, what's your name? Uh, Frank. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frankly, um, yes. Uh, but anyways, that crayfish pie. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. But anyways, uh, hour fifty five. <laughs> Talk about uh, Elias and his uh, new rival with oh, uh, the one man band, Heath Slater. Yeah, I walk with Slater I shirt with that Slater. Rhino has. Then he's the only one that's gonna buy it. I'll buy it. <laughs> you represent. You represent yeah. your Michigan uh, friends there with uh, with with Rhino. But I think it's Slater's shirt. Oh, you suck the heads off of crayfish. This is this what? is a different show now. That's what Robert's saying. Down Who said there. that? Uh, Robert. Out there in the chat. Oh, it might. Ugh. It, mine's behind. Ugh. Hey, hey, that's what. Hey, they're talking about doing uh, pancakes and sausages for uh, for a WrestleMania party. Yeah, you, that's right. have, you need some crayfish pie for WrestleMania party. <laughs> Stay with the theme, man. You can't kill the producer. Beads? We can't well, kill the producer. Well, she's not going to eat it. I mean, that's for everybody else, you know. So I don't know. What's the heads? Is that still? Is that still count? I don't. I don't know how that works. The crayfish as an edible item is just. Brand new to me. This is what I've learned after 34 years of WrestleMania. Crayfish are del- a delicacy, apparently. I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe it's going to be a new item at KFC. Oh, God. Mutilator Larry on the Twitters. He's yep. sort of there, I guess. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's, uh, what's that? Before I sign off. Before you sign off. Oh. Oh, hey. So I, I put the link over the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook uh, page, and tonight I've been tweeting it a few times at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. The Pittsburgh City Paper is doing a Best of Pittsburgh, and uh, we would appreciate it. We want to make a run at it, and uh, they're doing nominations now. So please, uh, I- if you could, if you would, 
uh, go hit up one of those links. And if you look under, I believe it's, uh, is it people and services? Oh, uh, goods and services. Goods and services. I think. It's like, it's like the third of the fourth categories. And you'll go down there and or say. And go to our Facebook page. Our Facebook page has, has a link. But you still got to go down and go through the menus. Goods and services. Because it's goods and services yeah. and best local podcast. And please put a little dilly in there for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Um, and, uh, and, and, and probably tell them you're from Pittsburgh. That might be a thing that you have to do. Uh, but anyways, we appreciate that. Uh, please vote for them and any friends of ours. Uh, of course, Slice on Broadway for uh, Best Pizza. Uh, comedians like Matt Light and uh, Jay Cooper uh, that have been a part of this show or anything else that I'm not thinking of. Um, a vote for Basic Sickness, even though he just released the song for the first time in like five years uh, for Best Local whatever category he lands in. Uh, and, uh, you know, just uh, support support the Mud Puppies. I thought, well, Mud Puppets. Interesting. It's literally, it's literally a seed bug. <laughs> I'm still learning about this. Wow, this is like this. It's it's like it's like you and I used to go to the the Carnegie Science Center. I'm just learning everything <laughs> about little buggy, fishy things. Anyways, that's my that, yes, that's my memory from. <laughs> Did childhood. we just turn into a Mr. Rogers podcast? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I feel like I'm doing. I'm like I got a client <laughs> that I go and shoot him getting a tattoo, and I feel like I'm doing a Mr. Rogers visit so and so. Oh my god! Segment, and I want to be <laughs> asking him questions. You know. Because uh, it's it's the, like today we're gonna be here we're gonna do, 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 and we're gonna learn about blah 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 you know and I talk with the tattoo artists and everything and and you know I think if Mr. Rogers got a tattoo it'd be like the videos that I've been doing like like for this one client but anyways that's <laughs> something else you can check out all those kinds of things at fit, uh, blah, 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 blah. that was fishing without bait dot com that I'm talking about but check out everything else at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com sorgatronmedia dot com sorgatron on the Twitter at mayhem show on the Twitter of course uh, if you are catching us live we are gonna be on Tuesday um, here. Uh, uh, April 3rd, noon, uh, and it'll be on later in the week uh, on the Indie Mayhem Show uh, uh, feeds everywhere. So please subscribe wherever you like your podcasts or videos. We will be talking with Jamie Frost. Oh, man. Who's Jamie Frost? She she is famous. She's, she is the she's, girl from the Raws. She's, she's the girl from Raw last week that got yep. kicked in the face by Asuka. Turns out we knew her before she was kicked in the face famous. And before she was named Jamie Frost. That's true, too. <laughs> we knew her of, like, two other names before that. And uh, that was her debut professional wrestling match on Monday Night Raw. Ever. Anywhere. She started on Raw as a wrestler. Official. That's pretty good. I have been. He didn't even know she was training. <laughs> hey, maybe she didn't. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Uh, but no, we're going to have a chat with her, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Look for that at noon Eastern on the uh, Indie Wrestling US Facebook page. We'll be live streaming over there. Um, I'll ask her if she likes crayfish. Crayfish. Go for the crayfish. Stay for bin binginess. Bingin 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 bingin-ness. What? Binginess. I I don't know. Beignets. I want to be. They're here. donuts. Stay for donuts. Oh, they're donuts. I'll stay for donuts. There you go. Thank you, everybody, that's been joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Keep it raw.